Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Beauty by Quee here on Quee TV and if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I hope that at the end of this video you will feel free to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any videos or alerts from me and if you are a current subscriber, hey boo, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> On today's video, we're going to create this nice cranberry chocolatey eye look. I thought it was really cute. It's really appropriate for any season because, you know, it's cranberry. So, if you're interested in seeing how I accomplished this look, then you already know what to do. Stay tuned. You're inside the noise. I can feel you. video, I kind of got an idea this time as to what I would like to film what makeup look but we gonna get with the getting loving with loving so I'm thinking about doing like a cranberry look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Aina palette so I got my stuff out this time <laughs> I so smart today so I got my stuff out. Well, no, I lie. I lie. I forgot my primer. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. The original one. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face so I can get that nice slip. As a disclaimer, all products will be listed in the description box below. As usual, using my Fenty Beauty Foundation in 450. Um, I'm probably not going to tell you all of the products used, but if I don't, it's listed <laughs> in the box. Okay, you guys. So, right now, I am just applying my Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 450. 450. I know right now it looks very, very orange, literally like the color of my shirt. But, guys, it does oxidize down to the color of your skin complexion. I forgot this when applying it. Um, but, again, I was reminded that it does oxidize down some once it warms up to your skin. And I'm just applying that with my Real Techniques Powder Sponge. And I just keep patting it all over to eventually it turns into my skin complexion. After that, I am going to apply my concealer, which is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And I literally speed it through the face tutorial because I've done this and used the same, just about the same products over and over in all of my recent videos. But if you wanted something more sped down, the best reference video will be my newest one, which is the Pastel Springtime Makeup video. And I will link that in the cards for you guys, where I kind of like explain the process. And this video was meant to be a talk through, but honestly, my energy was not all there during the talk to so that's why I opted for doing a voiceover so now I am just blending the outskirts of that concealer basically blending it till I can't blend it out down any more into the foundation and once you do that that's when I use my contour shade in the black radiance color perfect foundation stick in the shade express so and I'm going to contour with that shade. Once I have applied and blend it out my foundation my concealer and my contour i am going to set with my maybelline loose finishing powder in the shade 35 deep i set my concealer when i want a skin light finish to my makeup if i want a full glam a full beat then i'll go ahead and bake to give me that nice barbie doll look 
but when I want to look realistic for the day then I'll just go ahead and set my concealer just as FYI so you'll know why I do what and when <laughs> Mira, you did good on your last report card. Mr. Craven just sent it to me. What did I get? You got, come on. You got a B, B, three Bs, one A, and one C. That's good. Good job. Your dad gonna be so proud of you. I made it a point to praise my daughter for her good grades on the video because I really was proud of her and she has really stepped it up and I know it was so hard for her and this year was so challenging for her in so many ways but I was so proud of her she stepped it up and she gave it all that she had which I know that there's more that she has to give but I try not to be too hard on her but still kind of push her in the right direction so yeah, I'm really proud of her, so I just had to let her know how much, you know, mom and dad really is proud of the grades that she's got in this quarter. And we hope that she keeps it up in the middle of everything that's going on. So, back to the makeup. I went ahead and filled in my brows with the LA, I think it's the LA Girl Brow Pomade in the shade soft black and then cleaned it up with that elf concealer and now i'm just blending it out with my beauty sponge then afterwards i set underneath my eyebrows with my setting powder just to give my shadows something to blend with and don't forget to go back and reinforce that nose contour i like to take that contour into the brows to give it a very nice snatched look and then I'm just setting all over the eyelids because I don't want those shadows to bleed for this look usually I want it very pigmented but not for this look so for the pad palette today I am going in with I believe that's ginger out of the Jackie Anna and Anna ABH palette and I'm just applying that to the crease that's gonna act as our transition shade and then after that I am going to go in with that purple shade I forgot the name of it I don't think it's pinker but I could be wrong but going in with that shade and I am also applying that in the crease as you can see I'm using a tighter more pointier blending brush and then, you know, feel free to go into the previous shade to make sure everything is blended together. And then this shade, I think it's called Credit, which is a nice chocolatey shade. I'm applying that all over the lid. And then just go back with those previous brushes again to make sure that all three of those shades are well blended or four shades are all well blended into each other. And you can't see where they stop and start. Then after that, I'm going in with this beautiful cranberry shade. And I am putting that on the lid. So we're kind of creating a halo eye just about. But I just really wanted that color again on my eye. It is so pretty, especially for melanin beauties where, you know, just so pretty. And I feel like it goes with any season. I don't care what it is, fall, summer winter whatever you gonna look bomb period The exact same shades that I placed in my crease 
before the cranberry shade are the shades that I am putting on my lower lid just to bring everything together. Sometimes I like my lower lids to be naked, just mascara, and then sometimes I want to apply that color. Um, and you just want to blend those colors into each other. That way it will match the top. And for the inner crease, I just used the lightest pink shade in that Huda Beauty palette and also in the Jackie Aina palette. And I blended those two together to give me a bright inner corner. And I've been feeling the whole matte, light color inner corner in the eyes. Bomb. So I'm just applying mascara, you know the drill, so that they can blend well with my false lashes nothing new girl nothing new For lips, I've been loving this combo. This pencil is the Me Now Eye Lip Pencil in the shade 022. I first start off lining my lips with that. As you can see, it's a nice bronze copper color. And I apply that to the lips first. And then I'm going to press my lips together to kind of like blend it on my lips and then using a wet and wild color icon cold liner in simmer brown now no simmer brown now i believe and i'm just applying that to the outer out basically outlining my lips with that and then i'm going to go back and forth between those two pencils so that they blend into each other and for lips, I'm using the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Gloss, and I'll put the shade down below. And I'm just applying a little brow gel to the brows to kind of dust off the powder that may have gotten on them. And so they can really pop, because sometimes when you apply your makeup, it kind of like fades away and it isn't as pigmented. Then I'm using my applying blush which is the Juvia's Place Saharan Volume 1 blush palette and patting the rest of that powder into my skin and I love to do this um, step last Okay, you guys, so this is all for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Again, my name is Beauty by Quee here on Quee TV. And I invite you to go ahead and subscribe right now before this video is over. And head over to my Instagram and go ahead and follow me there because I post a little bit on there and everything. And I also send out alerts on Instagram to let you know when I have posted a new video. And I won't hold you guys any longer. I love you guys. Make sure you stay safe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.